हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन आवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल इन दिस वीडियो आई बी शोइंग अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग केस एंड देर इज अ क्वेज how you are going to go ahead in this particular case so this is a brown black cat track which i am going to tackle i am going to use the centurion gold feco machine which has active fluidics so my standard technique here is to do a half trench using the torsional feco i use around 70% continuous torsional energy and then i go ahead with the chops you can see that this nucleus is not only hard it's also sticky so these are the parameters that i generally use for doing the chopping on the left side you can see longitudinal fake of linear from 0 to 70 it is on for 40% of time and 10 pulses per second i don't use torsional for doing the chopping and iop is maintained at 50 with flow rate of 34 and 550 panel mode vacuum so it gives very good hold here the important thing is to when you split you try to split till the posterior plate for the complete separation and i am using a 1.5 mm long sinski here for chopping the nucleus these brown black cat tracks are always tricky because uh, you have to be very careful in dividing them you have to protect the endothelium and this is the quadrant removal mode so i am going to use only torsional here which starts from 20 up to 60 and 5 pulses per second here and uh, i am going to use torsional on only for 60% i am using fixed vacuum of 550 and 45 fixed flow rate and iop of 50 i am using balance tip throughout that's why the power which is set very rarely exceeds 70 so here i am just using 60% of the torsional power in a pulsed manner the ip is on that means whenever there is occlusion or 95% of the vacuum built there will be pulses of longitudinal feco this avoids blockage of the tip i am trying to emulsify at the iris plane most of the times active fluidics help in maintaining the chamber we can also use lower iop here i am using 50 iop you can go up to 20 but when you use lower iop the eyeball tends to become soft and sometimes i feel during chopping you have to be little bit careful in your initial cases when you are using centurion machine if you are putting very low iop endothelium is well protected using a heavy dispersive agent hyalocoat which is my agent of choice we can also use viscoat and uh, chondroitin and hyaluronate combination gives a very good protection for the endothelium and make sure that no pieces are hitting the endothelium directly and the the endothelium should be well protected by the dispersive viscoelastic agent do not use cohesive agent for protection because it just gets washed off very quickly so now we come to the quiz part and now the nucleus has been removed and i am doing cortex aspiration and just watch carefully at this point what is that which is coming into the coaxial ia tip is it cortex or is it something else This is a very important image to understand, and particularly for beginners, to understand difference between the cortex and obviously now you are clear that this is not cortex and it's coming from behind the back somewhere. So that is a vitreous strand there. Now I'm going to push the reflux button so that the trapped vitreous strand can be taken out. so you can go back and watch the video again you will find out that there is a difference in structure of a cortex and a vitreous strand 
so vitreous strand is more like a elastic fiber and it cannot be pulled out very easily as compared to a cortex fiber and now the question is how will you manage this case further so do comment about this case on the channel and do share your views this is a very important video for all surgeons to watch so that they can detect the presence of vitreous strand very early and can manage the case thank you so much for watching do subscribe uh, to my youtube channel thank you.